Just one man doing all that, playing the mouth harp and the guitar, because you, well, when you do this, you have to wear a little sort of what another person might call a, a necklace, yeah. And then it's got um, joints so that you can bring the mouth harp up to where you can reach it to play it. And Bob Dylan is well. You must be 20 years old now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, must be 20. I'm, uh, <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah, 20. I'm 20. When I first heard Bob Dylan was, I think, about three years ago in Minneapolis. And at that time, you were thinking of being a rock and roll singer, weren't you? Well, at that time, I was just sort of doing nothing. I was there... Uh, well, you were studying. I was working, I guess. I, I was uh, I was making pretend I was going to school out there. I'd just come there from South Dakota. That was about three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I'd come there from Sioux Falls. And that was only about the place. You didn't have to go too far to find the Mississippi River it runs right through the town, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you've been singing, you've sung now at Gertie's here in town, and have you sung at any of the coffee houses? Yeah, I've sung at the uh, Gaslight. That was mm -hmm. a long time ago, though. I used to play down the Wa too, you know. You ever know where that place I, is? Yeah, uh, I didn't know you sang there. Yeah, I sang down there during the afternoons. Mm -hmm. uh, played my harmonica uh, for this guy there who was singing. He used to give me a dollar. 
play every day with him from uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon until 8.30 at night. He gave me a dollar plus wow. a, a cheeseburger. <laughs> a thin one or a thick one? <laughs> uh, I didn't much tell in those days. <laughs> well, whatever got you off rock and rolling on to folk music? Well, I never really got on to this. Uh, they were just sort of, uh, I don't know, I, I wasn't calling it anything. And, you know, I wasn't really singing rock and roll. Yeah, I was singing Muddy Waters songs, and I was writing songs, and I was singing Woody Guthrie songs. And uh, I also sung uh, Hank Williams songs and Johnny Cash, I think. Yeah, I think the ones that I heard were um, the uh, couple of Johnny Cash songs. Cause yeah, this one I just sung for is Hank Williams. It's a nice uh, song, too. Lonesome Whistle. Heartbreaking. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been, you've been writing songs as long as you've been singing, huh? Well, uh, no, I, yeah, actually, I guess you could say that. Are these, uh, the, oh, look, these are French ones, huh? No, they're healthy cigarettes. Oh, yeah? They're healthy because I, I got a long filter and no tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of neat. And now you're, you're doing a record for Columbia. Yeah, I made it already. It's coming out next month. Or not next, yeah, it's coming out in March. And what's it going to be called? Uh, Bob Dylan, I think. <laughs> That's Some... a novel title <laughs> for a record. Yeah, it's pretty strange. <laughs> yeah, and um, this is one of the quickest rises in, in folk music, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I really don't think to myself as in a folk, folk, you know, folk singer thing, because uh, I don't really much play across the country to any of these places. You know, I don't, uh, I'm not on a circuit or anything like those other folk singers. So uh, I play once in a while, you know. But uh, I don't know, I like more than just folk music, too. And I sing more than just folk music. I mean, as such, like, uh, people label just folk music, folk music. Well, you know, I like folk music as you know, Hobart Smith stuff and that. But I don't sing much of that. And when I do, uh, it's, it's probably a modified version of something. Uh, not a modified version. I don't know how to explain it. Just that there's more, too. I think old-type jazz things, you know. Uh, Jolly Will Morton, you know, stuff like that. Well, what I would like is is for you to um, sing some songs, you know, from different parts of your short history. <laughs> short yeah, because my, my you're history? In only 20 now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see, I'm looking for one. Uh, he has the, the I, I gather, a small part of his repertoire yeah. pasted to his guitar. Well, this is, no, actually I don't even know some of these songs. This list I put on because other people got it on, you know, and I copied the best songs I could find on here from all these guitar <laughs> players' lists. <laughs> so I don't know a lot of these, you know. Gives me something to do, though, on stage. Yeah, like something to look at. Yeah. <laughs> I sing you, oh, you want to hear, want to hear a blues song? Sure. <sighs> fixing the day. When I'm looking for and my more, I believe I'm fixing to die. When I'm looking for and my more, I believe I'm fixing to die. Well, I don't mind dying, but I hate to leave my children crying. Well, I go yonder to that burying ground, to that burying ground. Well, I go yonder to that burying ground. Understands the grave of King Solomon. I'm sure he won't let me down. Well, I'm looking for and my more. I believe I'm fixing to die, fixing to die. Well, I'm looking for and my more. I believe I'm fixing to die. I'm fixing to die. Well, I don't mind dying, but I hate to leave my children crying. Well, 
Well, there's a black smoke arising, the Lord is rising up above my head, up above my head. studio. <laughs> it's the <laughs> coldest studio. You usually can do this. <laughs> there, I just yeah. want to do it once. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> You're a very good friend of John Lee Hooker's, aren't you? Yeah, friend of his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you sing any of his songs at all? Well, no, no, I don't sing any of his, really. I sing one of Howlin' Wolf's. I want to hear that one again. Well, first I want to ask you, um, why don't you sing any of his? Because I know you like them. Uh, I play harmonica with him, and mm -hmm. I sing with him. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't do sing of any of his songs. It's, I, I might sing a version of one of them, but I don't sing any like he does. I don't think anybody sings in any of his songs, to tell you the truth. He's a, he's a funny guy to sing like. <laughs> Hard guy to sing like, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. This is Let's see if I can find a key here and do this one. I heard this one a long time ago. This is one. Never do it. But... This is the Holland Wolf song. Stop 
up your train and let it pulverize. Can't you hear me cry? Tell me, tell me, baby, just what's the matter here? Can't you hear me cry? Sure do. You're very brave to uh, try and sing that kind of a howling song. Yeah, it's a howling wolf. Yeah. yeah. Another of the singers that you're that you're a very good friend of is I know Woody Guthrie. Yeah. Did you you said uh, singing his songs were, or rather his songs were some of the first ones that you sang? Yeah. Yeah. Which ones do you sing of his? Well, I sing. Or which well, do you like the best, perhaps I should say? Well, let's put this which ones we want to hear. Here, I'll sing you one. I'll get it together here. Um, In order for Bob to put on his necklace, which is yeah. what he holds up the mouth harp with, he's got to take his hat off. Yeah. Then he puts on the necklace, <laughs> then he puts the hat back on. Then he screws up the necklace so that he can put the mouth harp in it. <laughs> it's a complicated business. <laughs> You know, the necklace got to go around the collar. <laughs> <laughs> also, in case any of you don't know, well, in order for Bob to decide what key he's going to sing in, he's got to decide... Well, first he decides what key he's going to sing in, then he's got to find a mouth harp that's in that key, and then he's got to put the mouth harp in the necklace. Yeah. I sing a hard traveling. How's that one? Just everybody sings it, but he likes that one. Lincoln Highway, I thought you know. I've 
I've been hitching on 66 way down the road Heavy load, worried mind, I'm looking for a woman that's hard to find And I've been heaven to my heart, traveling long Been getting some hard harvest and I thought you know North Dakota to Kansas City way down the road Bucks that wheat and stacking it head trying to make about a dollar a day and I've been heaven to my heart traveling a lot Oh I've been locked in the hard rock jail I thought you know I've been laying out 90 days way down the road Mean old judge, he says to me, it's 90 days for vagrancy, and I've been hitting some hard traveling along. Nice. Look you started it. off slow, but boy, you ended up. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing of mine there. Tell me about uh, the songs that you've sung, that you've written yourself, that you sing. Oh, those are. Well, I don't claim to call them folk songs or anything. I just call them contemporary songs, I guess. You know, a lot of people paint. You know, if they got something that it's, they want to say, you know, they paint. Or a lot of people write. Well, I just write a song. You know, the same thing. So, want to hear one? Why, yes, that's yeah. just what I had in mind, Bob Dylan. <laughs> what have you made you think of that? <laughs> Let's see. What kind you want to hear? Uh, Cause I, I got a new one I wrote. Uh, yeah, you said you were going to play some of your new ones for me. Yeah, I got a new one. Uh, this one's called, you know, Element Till. Oh, by the way, the melody here, excuse me, the melody is, I stole a melody from Len Chandler. And he, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a funny guy. He's a, he's a folk singing guy. He uses a lot of funny chords, you know, when he plays. And he's always getting to want me to use these, some of these chords, you know? <laughs> He's trying to teach you new chords all the time. Well, he played me this one. He says, don't those chords sound nice? <laughs> <You know? laughs> I say, yeah, they sure do, you know? And so I stole it. <laughs> I stole the whole thing. <laughs> that was his first mistake. <laughs> yeah. Not so long ago, when the young boys from Chicago town walked in a southern door, this boy's fateful tragedy, you should all remember well. The color of his skin was black, and his name was Emmett. And they dragged him to a barn And there they beat him up They said they had a reason But I disremember what They tortured him and did some things Too evil to repeat There was screaming sounds inside the barn there was laughing sounds out on the street Then they rolled his body down a gulf Amidst a blood red rain And they threw him in the waters wide To cease his screaming pain The reason that they killed him there And I'm a short Cause he was born a black
Mexican born He was born to die And then to stop the United States Of yelling for red trial Two brothers they confessed that they had killed poor Emmett Till But on the jury there were men who had helped the brothers commit this awful crime And so this trial was a mockery but nobody seemed to mind I saw them on in papers but I could not bear to see the smiling brothers walking down the courthouse stairs. Oh, the jury found them innocent, and the brothers, they went free. While Emmett's bodies float the foam of a Jim Crow Southern Sea. If you can't speak out against this kind of thing A crime that's so unjust Your eyes are filled with dead man's clay And your ears must be filled with dust Your arms and legs, they must be in shackles and chains And your mind, it must cease to flow For you to let our human race Fall down so god awful low. This song is just a reminder to remind your fellow man that this kind of thing still lives today and that goes through Ku Klux Klan. But if all us folks that thinks alike. If we'd give all we could give We could make this great land of ours A greater place to live You like that one? This is one of the greatest <laughs> c contemporary ballads I've ever heard. It's tremendous. <laughs> you think so? Oh, yes. Thanks. It's got some lines in it that just, just make you stop breathing. <laughs> it's great. Have you sung that for Woody Guthrie? No, okay, I'm going to sing that for him. You're going to sing time. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just wrote that one about last week, I think. Fine song. It makes me very proud. Uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, it's what's so magnificent about it to me is that it doesn't have any sense of being written. You know, it sounds as if it uh, it just came out. It, it doesn't have any of those little poetic contortions that that mess up so many contemporary ballads. Oh you yeah. Know? yeah I try to keep and then of course you it. sing it so so straight. That's fine. Wait, Lynn Chandler has a melody though. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably be very pleased with what you did to it. What song does he sing to it? He sings another one he wrote. He wrote about some bus driver out in Colorado that, that crashed a school bus at 27 kids. That's a good one, too. It's a good song. What other, what other songs are you going to sing? You want to hear another one? I want to hear tons more. Okay. Hey, let me sing you. Uh, I never get a chance to sing uh, a lot of them. Let me just sing you a plain, ordinary one. Fine. I'll tune this one. This is open E. Oh, I got one. I got two Fine. of them. I broke my fingernails, so it might not be. It might slip a few times. Standing on 
highway trying to bum a ride, trying to bum a ride, trying to bum a ride. Well, I'm standing on the highway trying to bum a ride. Nobody seems to know me, everybody has passed me. If she knows I'm here, honey, if she knows I'm here, if she know I'm here. Well, I wonder if my good girl, I wonder if she knows I'm here, or if she knows I'm here. Well, if she knows I'm here, Lord, I wonder if she said a prayer. I got two cards looking, Lord, they seem to be handmade, handmade, they seem to be handmade. I got two cards looking, Lord, they seem to be handmade. One looks like the eight of diamonds, the other looks like it's an ace of spades. Well, I'm standing on a crossroads, I'm wondering where everybody went. Everybody go tell me what everybody went Lord, I'm standing on the crossroads I'm wondering where everybody went Please, mister, won't you pick me up I swear I ain't gonna kill nobody's kids I'm standing on the highway Trying to hold up in me Trying to hold up in me Trying to hold up in the grave Trying to hold a baby, trying to hold a baby brain. I got one road going up high, left and the other road going down to my grave. Well, I'm standing on the crossroads, trying to flag a ride. Well, I'm standing on the highway, trying to boom a ride, trying to boom a ride. I'm standing on the highway watching my life roll by. You like that? Yes, I do. do. You know what? The eight, of di the eight of diamonds is delay, and the ace of spades is death. Yeah. <laughs> so that sort of goes in with the two roads, doesn't it? I learned that from Carnival. From who? Carnival. He's traveled to Carnival. He's speaking those things all the time. Oh, you can read cards too. Mm. Mm. Can't I can't read cards. I I I really believe in palm reading, mm. but for a bunch of personal things, I don't personal experiences. I don't believe too much in the cards. I, I like to think I don't believe too much in the cards. <laughs> <Anyhow>. <laughs> so you go out of your way not to get them yeah, read, yeah. so you won't believe them. <laughs> yeah. How long are you with the carnival? I was with the carnival off and on, six years. What well, What were you doing? Oh, just about everything. Uh. I was a clean-up boy. I used to uh, be on the main line on a Ferris wheel. Do uh, just run rides. I used to do all kinds of stuff like that. Didn't that interfere with your schooling? Well, I skipped a bunch of things, and I didn't go to school a bunch of years, and I skipped this and skipped that. That's what I figured. <laughs> all came out even, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were gonna you were gonna sing another blues, you said. Oh yeah, I'll, let me, I'll sing you this one. This is a nice slow one. I learned this, you know Ralph Rensler? Sure. Yeah, uh, I learned this sort of thing from him. Uh, a version of this, I, I got the idea from him. This isn't the blues, but... How much time we got? Oh, we got half an hour. I 
Yes, Edgar. Won't you be my wife? She fell on her knees. She began to cry. The more she cried, the worse I felt. Till I thought my heart would melt. I looked at the sun. She was a walking down the road. I looked at the sun. Was it turning red? I looked at my baby, but she bowed her head. Don't that sun look lonesome? Oh Lord, 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 on the graveyard fence. Don't my baby look lonesome when I hear it is bent? Roll on, John. feel even lonelier. <sighs> How much of that uh, of that last one was yours, by the way? Well, I don't know, maybe one or two verses. Where'd the rest of it come from? Well, like I say, I got the idea from Ron John from Ralph Rensler. Oh, I see. Uh, and then I got the rest that just sort of fell together. One. I bet you'll know this one. I bet you'll know this one. Take the hat off, put yep. on the necklace, the necklace. Yeah. put the hat back on. <laughs> Nobody's ever seen Bob Dylan without his hat, excepting when he's putting on his necklace. Is there a is there a more dignified name for that thing? What uh, this? For the brace? Yeah. Or, uh, what's it called? Uh, harmonica holder. Oh, I think <laughs> necklace is better than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one here is a old jug band song. Every day, the woman I love, she's so far away. If you don't think I love you, look what a fool I've been. If you don't think I'm sinking, look what a hole I'm in. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. Heard a mama, won't you tell on me? Well, I'm stealing back to my good old used to be. Well, a woman 
woman I love, she's about my size. She's a married woman, comes to see me sometime. If you don't think I love you, look what a fool I've been. If you don't think I'm sick, look what a hole I'm in. Mean. I'm stealing. Stealing. Hey, mama, what you tell on me? Well, I'm stealing back in my good old used to be. Put your arms around me like a circle in the sun Stare with me, baby, duck me, easy ride or done If you don't think I'm sick and look at the whole I mean If you don't think I love you, look for a fool I've been I'm stealing Stealing Heard a mama watch you tell on me Well, I'm a stealing back my good old used to be I'm stealing Stealing Heard a mama don't you tell on me Well, I'm a stealing back my good old used to be And mama watch you tell on me Well I'm stealing back my good old used to be Like that? <laughs> That's called stealing <laughs> I figured <laughs> Yeah That's You it. haven't been playing the harmonica too long, have you? Oh yeah Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah uh, yeah, I've been playing harmonica for a long time. I just haven't never had, couldn't play them at the same time. I used to play the smaller honers. Mm -hmm. I never knew harmonica holders existed, the real kind like this. I used to play, had to play with a coat hanger. That never really held out so good. I used to put tape around it, you know. Yeah. It used to be hold out pretty good. But then, you know, they were small, there were smaller harmonicas than these, you know, they're about this far. And I just put them in my mouth. Mm -hmm. but, I, but, oh, I got, yes. but I got bad teeth, you know, and it's some kind of thing back there. I don't know, maybe there's a, I don't know what it was, but it was a, a filling or something. I don't know what it was in there, but it used to it used to magnify. Oh, or not magnify, yes. but magnet. You know, man, this whole harmonica would get wham, you know, drop in my mouth like that. <laughs> so I couldn't hold on my, to my teeth very much. Yeah, it's like sometimes you get a piece of tin foil in in uh, your mouth, yeah. and it goes wow. It's terrible. But let's not talk about that. No, I don't want to talk about that either. <laughs> Yeah, at the carnival, uh, did you did you learn songs? No, I learned how to sing, though. Mm -hmm. That's more important. Yeah. You made up the songs even then? Uh, actually, I wrote a song once. I'm trying to find a real good song I wrote. And it's about this lady I knew in the carnival. And uh, there's, they had a side show. I only tried, I was, this one's Thomas shows, Roy B. Thomas shows. And there was, they had a freak show in it. You know, and a lot, you know, all the midgets and all that kind of stuff. Well, there's one lady in there, uh, really bad shape. Like, her skin had been all burned, and she was a little baby, you know, and it didn't grow right, and so she was like a freak. Mm. And all these people would pay money, you know, to come and uh, to see. And, uh, and that really sort of got me, you know. I mean, they'd come and see, and, and she, I mean, she was very, she didn't really look like normal, you know. She had this funny kind of skin, and they passed her off as, as an elephant lady. Mm. You know? And, uh, like, she just burned completely. She's just a little baby, huh? And, uh, it's a funny thing about them. I know all those people think, you know, uh, like, you know, when they, they, they want to sell you stuff, you know, if it's spectators. And I don't see why people don't buy, you know, something because, you know, like they sell little cards on themselves, you know, for like 10 cents. You know, they got a picture on it and it's got some story. You know, and they, very funny thinking, like, they, they get up there, like, a lot of them are very smart, you know, because they've had to do this. And, I mean, still, you can't, I mean, a lot of them are great people, you know, but, uh, you know, like, they, they got a funny thing in their minds, like, they want to, uh, here they are on stage, they want to make you have two thoughts, like, they want to make you uh, think that that uh, they don't uh, 
feel feel bad about themselves. They want you to think that they just go on and they're living every day and they don't ever think about their what's what's bothering them. They never think about their condition. And also, they want to make you feel sorry for them. And they got to do that two ways, see. And uh, uh, and they do it. A lot of them do it. And uh, it's you know. And so I, these are. I had a good friend. Uh, this woman, I was like that. And I wrote a song for her, you know, a long time ago, and I lost it someplace. Uh, it's just about, uh, just speaking from the first person, like here I am, you know, and something talking to you and try, trying to say, it was called, Won't You Buy a Postcard? That was the name of the song I wrote. Can't remember that one, though. Yeah, there's, the, uh, there's a lot of circus literature about how uh, freaks don't mind being freaks. But yeah. it's um, very hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Uh, You're absolutely right that, that they would have to look at it two ways at the same time. Yeah. Did you manage to get both ways into the song? Yeah. I, I hope you find it. So when too. you find it, <laughs> <laughs> sing it for me. <laughs> yeah. I got a verse here for something. You know Ian and Sylvia? Sure. Yeah, I, 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 I sort of borrowed this. and Sylvia this. are at the bitter end now. Yeah. yeah. I sort of borrowed this from... He's looking for a harmonica. I don't have to take the necklace off. It's nice <laughs> to <see> it. <laughs> you might have heard him do it. So this, this is the same song. I, I just sing this one.
Well, it, it, when when uh, when you really Let's get, get going, there's a good, yeah. there's a tremendous sort of push that you that, that you give things. That's wild. <laughs> Yeah, you really think so? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just talking. <laughs> I take off my necklace. Without taking off your hat. No. Yeah. But then the thing is... I'm getting that, good at that. Yeah. After after he takes off the necklace and puts it on, he's got to fluff up the hat again yeah. every time. Well, I, I got it cleaned and blocked last week. <laughs> <laughs> what did you wear on your head? Stetson. Yeah. Oh, yes. I remember that Stetson hat. You were wearing somebody's Stetson. Yeah, it was mine. I got that for oh. present, yeah. Well, why don't you wear it? Because you like this one better. I like this one better. It's been with me longer. What happens when you take it off for any length of time? You go to uh, sleep. Yeah. I see. <laughs> or else I'm in the bathroom or something. <laughs> well, actually, just when I go to sleep, I, I wanted to sing Baby, Please Don't Go, because I, oh, I, I, yeah. I wanted to hear how it sounded. You've written several new songs lately. Yeah. You've only sung one of them. Mm. You realize that? I know I'm working you very hard for no. this hour <laughs> of the morning, but yeah. there it is. Uh, uh, this really isn't a new one, but this is one of the ones you like. Mm -hmm. I wrote this one before I got this Columbia record thing, just about when I got it. Uh, you know, I, don't, I, mean, I like New York. Yeah. This is just from, this is a song though, from one person's angle. Song. I sing it to you right, but you might think it's wrong. Just a little glimpse of a story I'll tell about an East Coast city that you all know well. It's hard times from the country, living down in New York town. Old New York City is a friendly old town. From Washington Heights to Harlem on down, there's a mighty many people to milling all around. They'll kick you when you're up and knock you when you're down. It's hard times from the country, living down in New York town. Well, the weak and the strong and the rich and the poor Crowded up together, ain't room for no more Crowded up above and crowded down below When someone disappears, you never even know when it's hard times from the country Living down in New York town It's a mighty long ways from the Golden Gate To Rockefeller Plaza and the Empire State Mr. Rockefeller sits up as high as a bird And old Mr. Empire never says a word And it's hard times from the country Living down in New York town 
Well, it's up in the morning trying to find a job of work. You can stand in one place till your feet begin to hurt. If you got a lot of money, you can make yourself marry. If you only got a nickel, it's a Staten Island ferry. And it's hard times in the country, living down in New York town. I'll take all the smog in California, and every bit of dust in the Oklahoma plains, and the dirty in the caves of the Rocky Mountain mines. It's all much cleaner than the New York kind. It's hard times on the country, living down in New York town. Mr. Hudson come a sailing down the stream And old Mr. Minuet paid for his dream But you're sitting on a one-way track If I had my way, I'd sell it right back And it's hard times from the country Living down in New York town So all you newsy people that are spreading these around You've listened to my story, you've listened to my song You can stamp on my name, you can try and get the beat When I leave New York, I'll be standing on my feet Hard times in the country Living down in New York town <laughs> It's a very nice song, Bob Dylan. <laughs> and you've been listening to Bob Dylan playing some of his, playing and singing some of his songs and some of the songs that he's learned from other people. And thank you very, very much for coming down here and working uh, so hard. It's my pleasure to come down. When you're rich and famous, you're going to wear the hat, too? Oh, I'm never going to become rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> and you're never going to take uh, off the hat, either. No. <laughs> And this has been Folk Singer's Choice, and I'm Cynthia Gooding. I'll be here next week at the same time.